Hey, it's Jack here. Today we're in San Diego, California. We're at SeaWorld San Diego. It's been a number of years since I've been here. We're going to go on inside and check it out. Well, we're going to start the day off here at the Turtle Reef. Bought a special ticket to be able to interact with the turtles. And that's right down this way. Shark. So, so we're starting the tour here at the Shark that, Reef. That and then we'll go over the turtle exhibit. That eat these turtles. Okay. So she, because she does, we don't have any turtles in here. But see, she's looking for food. Oh, yeah. So, so they're talking about the tuna, which are the fish you see straight down below. And they were three inches in December. There's a filming of this. It is September 2024. And those tuna have grown to be the size you see them down there. And as I said earlier, we're starting here at the shark encounter because they wanted to emphasize how these sharks and some of the other uh, aquarium life here are uh, they feed off the turtles so they keep these over here and no turtles are in this tank obviously otherwise they'd have a lot of dead turtles uh -huh. well, we love that. all right here's the entrance to the turtle reef head on through here okay. and these are the green sea turtles that are waiting for you to come up all right so we're going to take the lettuce here and we're able to feed the turtles and toss it out there and they'll come up to the Come to the lettuce. Oh, looks like the tuna got it before the turtles did. And the turtle comes over and munches on that lettuce right there. Those two are fighting for it. They said this is an open tank here downstairs for coming up the safety brief said this is open tank. Obviously we can see that. And they do dive in here to keep things clean and also feed the animals and so forth. And we got some more lettuce here. We're gonna go ahead and toss that one out there. Uh, they're fighting for it. Those guys are, they said they have no manners, they just take whatever, they can see it and they grab it and they go. I threw that one out there and this one's tracking it, finding it, and I found it. So yeah, this is really a cool experience here. If you have a chance when you come to SeaWorld, come out here, Check it out for yourself. It's a little bit more than the price of admission. It's like $44, but well worth the experience. We just left the um, left the turtle left the turtle exhibit, and now we're over here at the dolphin show. So Maya, if you want to come on up these steps, you can keep your hands by your side for me, and you're going to be meeting the one and only Melanie. Now, Melanie here is a really special girl. She is the largest dolphin here. Oh, that's right. She is 700 pounds, Amaya. That's right. She's a big girl. So if you want to take two hands like this, give her a big wave hello for me. Just like that. Very nice. Look at that, Amaya. You're a natural. You're going to steal my job. Perfect. And it looks like another dolphin's coming over here, and she wants to get a photo with you. So would you come on down these steps? You're going to pose for your family right there. And Miss Malibu here is going to do a little wave behind you. I'll get out of your photo. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, Amaya! Oh my goodness! I had absolutely no idea that Malibu was going to do that. Folks, I'm going to hear it nice and loud for Malibu and her new friend Amaya.
Well, lunch day is going to be at the Shipwreck Cafe. We'll go inside, check this out. And here's their menu. I don't know what I'm going to get, but when I do, I'll show it to you. They've got a queue line, which because of the day and it's not so busy, you just walk right in. We'll end up going with the Southwest Wrap for lunch. Quite large here. Give this taste, see what it's like. So when I read the menu, I thought it said Southwest Chicken Wrap and not Southwest Wrap. There is no chicken in the wrap, so it's just the beans with the tomato, the lettuce, and the, the tortilla to wrap it up in. So flavor is not over the top for me. It's nothing to write home about. If you're out here at uh, SeaWorld, I would say, unless that's your thing, avoid the Southwest Wrap. Total was $22.07 for the Southwest Wrap and a bottle of water plus the California sales tax. We found the Flamingo Pond right here. He's over here off to the right, they're feeding and talking to each other. Well, this is what they call Dolphin Point. We'll go over here and check out what Dolphin Point's all about. Well, it was very much like what used to be at the Mirage Hotel in Las Vegas. Got these dolphin pools where they're just chilling out. Walked over here to the other side of the dolphins and you can see the seagull here waiting for possibly a free handout because they've got the fish for the dolphins right down here that this trainer is putting together. That seagull is just kind of hanging out thinking, well, if you drop a fish, I'll pick it up for you. Well, opposite the dolphins, they have the orcas over here chilling out in their pool. side we can see another one just chilling out right there well we've moved down below here with a chance maybe to see an orca in the pool if you're gonna be riding the sky ride you purchase your ticket because it's an additional cost at six dollars more right here at this kiosk I've already got my ticket. I'm going to go on board. And here it comes. And we're taking off over the bay. This is a round trip. It's $6 in addition to the ticket. But to say that, if you're a veteran and you're wanting to come to SeaWorld, you can get in free along with six people in your party and so paying a little extra for a ride like this is not a big deal and i'll leave a link in the description down below how if you're a vet you can come into sea world san diego for free Now we come down here, we're at a turnaround point. You don't get off here. They just turn you around and send you back the other way.
And that's the Sky Ride. And again, if you're a veteran, take a look down below. I'll have a link there on how you can get free admission for you, for up to six people, it'd be including yourself and five other people. And then there is a discount if you need more than six people in your party. And just check out that link down below. And we're back to our starting point. Now these are called cleaner fish. Now these little guys, they come up, it sound, feels so weird. They're actually nibbling on my fingers. It doesn't hurt. It feels like a, like a little vacuum going across your hand. It's just rather interesting. Then you shake your hand off and they go away. Do it again here. That was really a cool sensation. Those are called cleaner fish. And it was just a weird sensation having those crawl up my hand and, and clean my hand, so to speak. Over here in this tank, this is the white spotted bamboo shark. It says bamboo sharks can walk along the bottom with their pectoral fins. And we can see those shark right here, all huddled by the aerator. There's one over here hanging out by himself. Now because of the time of year that I'm here, a lot of these things are closed up. This is one of those never win the prize type of things here where you climb the two point ladder rather than the four point ladder. They do have their arcade over here, which I thought was kind of interesting. They have an arcade, SeaWorld arcade, with Lightning McQueen right here, which I thought was rather interesting. Otherwise they have the claw machines and so forth in here. Over here, this is a penguin encounter, and these guys are just hanging out outside right now. There's a trainer in the pen with them over there. Off to the far side. So they've come from the outside to the inside to the penguin encounter. And the temperatures in here are always so cool. And they put you on this conveyor like you're at the airport. You step on and just takes you along. And these are puffins here. They're just hanging out. I like how they do the above water and below water view on their tank here. Over here, this is the wild Arctic animal exhibit. They have beluga whales. And there's people out there having their encounter with a beluga whale. That is an extra price to go out there in the water with a beluga whale. But pretty darn cool if you're able to do so. And over here off to the right, definitely a better view. Well, so we head straight on. We can see the people out there with their encounter with the beluga whale. Now beluga whale waving hello. Over here, the sea otters cruising around. They have underwater viewing. We'll go over here. And right here, we can see a walrus coming by. And here's, there we go. There's a female there going by. They're just chilling in this water. 
Now, this underground area, this takes us back toward where the beluga whales are, as well as the otters. This is the underwater observation for both. Come over here, we can see the otter right there, cruising on top of the water. Yeah, it's going to pass right by us here. That gets us back over here by the beluga whales. And they're up there getting fed by their trainers right now. We go through here and check out the shark encounter. This takes us down into the tank. I don't know if you walk through the tube like in Las Vegas, Mandalay Bay, or if there is a mobile sidewalk like at the airport. We'll find out here shortly as we come through here. It looks like we do have a mobile sidewalk like at the airport. All right, we'll step onto the sidewalk here. And we can see that we're swimming with the sharks, so to speak. These are black tip reef sharks. There's that black tip reef shark up close and personal right before we step off the mobile sidewalk here. Got another one jetting across here. All right. Well, time to step on off. And that's our shark encounter. We're coming out of the shark encounter. They have the megalodon shark right here. It says it lived about 50 million years ago. It probably reached lengths of 45 feet and it preyed on whales. And why it became extinct is a mystery to this day. Well, through here, they repurposed this area. This used to be where they had the pearl diving. Now they made it into a manta ray pool. When they had the pearl diving, they dived through the deep part here, pick up that oyster, bring it back, get the pearl. And now they've just got it for the manta rays. Fitting with the manta ray theme, they've got the entrance there, exit to the roller coaster manta. So this way is the orca encounter. Go over and check this out. The world has one interconnected ocean. A vast blue expanse, critical to life on Earth. And there's no better animal to represent the story of the ocean with all its splendor and uncertainty than the killer whale, or as it's scientifically known, the Orsinus orca. The orca lives in every corner of the ocean, from the Arctic to the Atlantic, the Southern to the Indian, to the mighty Pacific and beyond. Bye. 
They sit the fastest, use most power with their propelling nearly 10. Go inside of here and check out the SeaWorld store. Of course, right in front of us are stuffed orcas. Over here on this side, we've got some apparel with the SeaWorld Rescue t shirts. Have some sweatshirts here. Over here, there's more assorted t shirts and sweatshirts down below. They've got this authentic SeaWorld apparel here with their water bottles. We have various keychains. Some jewelry here. Over here on this side, they have some play sets for the kids. And it doesn't end there. They have more things over here on this side. We'll go over here and check this out. Over here, they got some snow globes. And down below there, there's some coffee mugs. Over here, there's more coffee mugs, more snow globes and shot glasses. Here's some dolphin related items, snow globes, coffee mugs. Yeah. Over here, they have sea turtle snow globes. Across the back, they have various aquatic life type things. These are, of course, sea turtles here. Down below that, they've got the orcas. Over here, they got more orcas. There's some penguins there, some sharks and penguins down below. Over here, these things go to the Turtleman Foundation when you purchase one of these items. Over here and back this store, they've got more items. This gift shop just keeps going and going. Got some stuffed dolphins over here, more t-shirts across the back. Over here is stuff for SeaWorld Rescue. They come outside the store, they've got plastic sharks water bottles more plushes across the back there over here there's more plush here they got some cars and some locomotives there you got your slippers here over here more plush stuff as we come over here we find some mugs and right here we found what we're looking for yes we found jack I hope you enjoyed this walk around tour of SeaWorld here in San Diego, California. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and we'll catch you on the next one.